Well, a semblance of calm has returned to the free state town of Sienekal. This just hours after tensions between members of the EFF and a group of local white farmers had threatened to boil over. Hundreds of protesters descended on the town earlier today ahead of the bail application of two men charged with the murder of 21-year-old farm manager Brendan Horner. Our reporter Graham Robenheimer has been in Siena Carl for us for the past few days. He joins us now live for the latest. And Graham, I'd like to start if, in the courtroom if I can, because uh, we know that these men were wanted to apply for bail, but I believe it has been another postponement. That is, uh, if you just give me one second, uh, I've just got a gentleman in front of the camera here with the uh, EFF supporters around me. And uh, they're trying to stop our broadcast from happening here at the second. And uh, I'm just uh, trying to update you on the case, Melanie, but let's go forward with what I know. And uh, the bail application has been postponed until uh, early next week. And in that sense, uh, we're uh, due to hear the cross-examination of the uh, investigating officer when we return to court then uh, again next week. And in terms of some of the heads of argument, and the affidavit uh, that was heard by oral, oral evidence of the first accused in this matter, Sekwetje Mushlamba, uh, basically Ife uh, came out and said that uh, on the night of uh, Brendan Horner's murder, uh, that uh, he says his golf, he was with his girlfriend at the time. But the state came out and said, in fact, that uh, the girlfriend had come out and said to the state that, in fact, they were together uh, during that period. So that's just some of the uh, details that came out in those heads of. Uh, uh, of claims uh, from uh, uh, the two accused in this case. But we'll have to return to see Nicole next week to get more details on that. Graham, I can see you're working under very trying circumstances. We have had several reports of journalists being intimidated throughout the day. We are seeing that happening to you right now. Can you describe for us the scenes on the streets? Well, a lot earlier today, I mean, signs were vandalized, public property was vandalized, and there was stone throwing, and we know that things were heated uh, between the EFF supporters and the white farmers on the other side of Sierra Club. Um, yes, it got heated, uh, but it didn't really come to any serious, serious blows, and uh, no arrests uh, were made in connection with this, so those, that sort of situation had pretty much dissipated uh, by the, within the space of 25 minutes. Minutes. And then, you know, things had moved on. Malema was expected to come out and dress supporters. And uh, then we heard that we had to return to court. And that's when we heard a lot more detail uh, about the bail applications. Uh, yes, there have been some uh, cases of uh, journalists uh, being intimidated as well. Um, but for the most part, we've brought you the story uh, that you see before you. You have. What do we know about uh, what Julius Malema said to his supporters? Well, Julius Malema told supporters a short while ago that, uh, well, he claims that there are no um, whites being killed on farms in South Africa. Uh, he also went on to say that the reason why the EFF had come out to see Nicole, uh, was to fight white arrogance, saying that uh, uh, the party can't tolerate that uh, when whites are, are basically coming to a, a court like the Senegal Magistrates Court and overturning and burning a police vehicle. So he said that's the big reason why. Uh, the EFF had come out today and also to send a message to uh, US President Donald Trump that there are no whites being killed on farms in uh, South Africa. It does beg the question though then why are we here because we do have a case of Brendan Horner and according to the white farmers numerous other cases that have been reported this year. Graham we are seeing a police helicopter flying overhead what's the situation what's the security in place for this evening? Well if you can look behind me I mean Pretty much the whole situation has died down. A lot of the EFF supporters are moving out of town. There's several minibuses and buses that are due to take a lot of these supporters to different parts of the country. I mean, we've saw uh, EFF supporters coming as far as Johannesburg, the gentleman in Paul uh, that we spoke to at one o'clock. Uh, he's been working on the Tefal Fato Pule murder case in terms of activists there. They've been mobilizing supporters from all over the country. It remains to be seen whether or not uh, uh, the farmers will show their face again because we know that Helen Zillard, uh, the DA uh, uh, the stalwart, uh, was outside town at a, at a camp set up by AfriForum uh, uh, next to a farm stall. And uh, that's where most of the AfriForum has been spending its day. Um, Malema also had some choice words for her, um, talking about her wrinkles. Um, but yeah, we've seen the DA, we've seen the ANC, we've seen the EFF. It's been an 
absolutely chaotic but interesting political arena in this uh, very hot, uh, slightly hostile and old eastern free state town of Sienekal where it needs better policing. And Police Minister Becky Kele has promised to look at that. Well, he's got two and a half more weeks to come back and uh, see to, the, to these people's demands. Graham, stay safe. Thank you so much for your reporting throughout the day. A sterling job under trying circumstances. Graham Robenheimer there, our ETV news reporter on the ground, doing some fantastic work for us.